Former Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley is breaking her silence nearly 80 days after she dropped out of the U.S. presidential race, all to announce her support for Donald Trump. After all the things she said about the former president, why is she bending the knee now? Let's dive in. I will be voting for Trump. With those words, Nikki Haley became the biggest Republican rival to fall into line behind Donald Trump. Trump has not been perfect on these policies. I have made that clear many, many times. But Biden has been a catastrophe. She's the last standing Republican rival who had um, withheld her endorsement. Uh, the last major candidate, Chris Christie, has as well. But look, she's a Republican. She's a two-term former Republican governor. She served in the UN, of course, as his ambassador. So this is not a surprise. Haley returned to the public stage yesterday for the first time since suspending her presidential campaign to deliver a foreign policy address, but her remarks were overshadowed by a remarkable political 180 of her own, pivoting away from being Trump's nemesis. How much more losing do we have to do before we realize maybe Donald Trump is the problem? Chaos follows him. And we can't have a country in disarray and a world on fire and go through four more years of chaos. We won't survive it. He is unhinged. He is more diminished. The most harm he's ever possibly had is getting hit by a golf ball when he's sitting in a golf cart. She says that you're using a nickname based on her uh, given name, Nimrata. You called her Nimbra in a post the other day. Why do you do that? Well, I do that with a lot of people. And with her, it's just something that came. It's a little bit of a takeoff on her name, you know, her name and where she may come from. And somehow she's now become his supporter. I will be voting for Trump. Having said that, I stand by what I said in my suspension speech. Trump would be smart to reach out to the millions of people who voted for me and continue to support me and not assume that they're just going to be with him. And I genuinely hope he does that. If someone attacked my intelligence, my family, my marriage, and American democracy, I probably wouldn't then go back the and military. support them and the military. Um, listen, Haley voters feel betrayed. We need shrinks and and cult um, experts to explain this. For her and her husband to both been fight, feuding publicly with him just days and weeks before endorsing him is inexplicable to me at a human level. I think it's power. And I think in American politics, Access to power in a, in a party that you identify with is a future. Since leaving the race in March, the former South Carolina governor has stayed out of the public eye, reconnecting with her family, aides said, including her husband, Michael, who returned from a year-long overseas deployment. But even in her absence, she's been winning votes in one Republican primary after another. This is a wake-up call. Exposing a potential challenge facing Trump and unifying the party, particularly in suburban areas of swing states like outside Philadelphia, where Haley received nearly 25% of the vote in two counties. While Trump has not extended an olive branch to Haley or her supporters, the Biden campaign has targeted them through digital ads like this. Nikki Haley has made an unholy alliance with rhinos, never Trumpers. Hoping to remind her supporters of those insults and try to win over voters eager to keep Trump from returning to the White House. The Biden campaign has closely studied Republican primary results, even in deep red states like Indiana, where Haley received more than 21% of the vote earlier this month. It's an open question how many of those voters are lodging a temporary protest against Trump or actually open to supporting Biden. Haley did not say whether she would campaign for Trump or if she still believed the argument she made against him for more than a year. You gotta acknowledge the fact he can't win a general election. But she made clear she was back in the Republican fold for whatever her future may hold. We have to face the hard truths and do harder work. But I have faith that we'll rise to meet the challenge before us. If any country can still make it happen, it's ours. So could Haley be a candidate for vice president? Hypothetically, if your former boss is the nominee again, would you serve in, in a, another Trump administration? I don't want anything. I don't want vice president. I don't want anything. And in those circumstances? I don't want anything. We'll have to wait and see.